Fossil fuels are the primary source of energy in the world today. But people started using fossil fuels long before the first steam engine running on coal or the first commercially drilled oil well. Some forms of petroleum, coal and natural gas were used thousands of years ago by various civilizations on various continents according to historical records and archaeological finds. The history of the use of fossil fuels is as old as the history of human civilization. From mid-1700s, fossil fuel reliance started to grow as an energy source. They powered the Industrial Revolution and gave rise to the modern world. Early use of fossil fuels cannot compare in volumes to today's exploration, extraction, processing and trading industries in the three main fossil fuels, crude oil, natural gas and coal. Those three fuels combined account for the majority of the global energy use now. Using fossil fuels raises serious environmental concerns because burning them releases the carbon they contain into the atmosphere as carbon dioxide gas. Carbon dioxide that is produced naturally is part of a natural carbon cycle, maintaining a balance of natural carbon dioxide released into the atmosphere, absorbed by land, air and ocean in equal amounts. However, the carbon in fossil fuels has been underground and isolated from the carbon cycle for millions of years. This carbon, when released into the atmosphere, exceeds the ground's capacity to absorb it and so the amount in the atmosphere increases over time. Fossil fuel combustion releases about 30 billion tons of carbon dioxide per year. This human activity is negatively affecting the natural carbon cycle. Human input is causing a net increase in the atmosphere, soil and oceans. Carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas. This means it causes and intensifies the greenhouse effect. The process by which radiation from a planet's atmosphere warms the planet's surface to a temperature above what it would be without its atmosphere. More carbon dioxide in the atmosphere means that global temperatures rise. The world has already warmed around 1 degree Celsius above its pre-industrial temperatures. The rise in temperature is called global warming. It is associated with climate change. ocean acidification, biodiversity loss, and myriad of other environmental impacts. The threat to human civilization and the cost of these impacts are why decarbonization, the transition of the global economy towards one which does not produce greenhouse gas emissions, is one of the most important challenges we face today.